How's it going everyone? Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. This is the return to Stockton camping trip. It's the first camping trip in a very long time. I'm very excited to be out here. We're gonna have thunderstorms. Uh, I have no doubt about that. Look, Looking like probably within an hour or so. Uh, we are tent camping, that's right. Hammock camping Leo here, hammock camping Scotty and Clint. Uh, two out of three of us are using tents this time. It's very hot. I just wanted to try something different, not do the same thing over and over again. So tent camping. There's Clint's tent back there. We did paper, rock, scissors, scissors to see who got the uh, little pad that they have right there set up for tents. So mine's set up over there. I'll show you that in a second. Actually, let me just turn the camera around now so I can actually show you around camp and you don't have to look at my ugly face anymore. So, oh, Clint and Scott, you're out getting fishing licenses right now. They're gonna fish tonight and I'm gonna get one tomorrow and I'm going to fish for the first time since I was a kid because I don't eat fish, so I never saw the point, but I'm gonna give it a shot. A uh, good survival skill to have. Anyway, let me turn the camera around. Thanks for joining us. Here we go. All right, guys, this is my tent. This is the Alps Mountaineering Lynx 2. I believe it's called the Lynx 2. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's Lynx 2. Two-man tent, plenty of room in there for me. I've got a nice vestibule on this side. There's another one on the other side. It's got two doors, one on either side. Uh, so far, I like the tent. I haven't slept in it, but the material all seems good. There's very few loose threads. There was actually only, I think, two on there. I've got a little thin sleeping bag. Uh, don't even know if I'm going to use that tonight. I got my Thermarest down in there. I have a new inflatable sleeping pad I've never used made by uh, Climate. That's the Static X, I believe it's called. New camping chair. The other one finally gave out on me. And... I have now started using this one. I don't remember the name of it. I'll have reviews on this stuff up after I've used it multiple times out camping. New little folding table. Instead of having to look for one this time, we are just glamping, guys. I mean, that's what we're doing. I got a nice chair. I got a little table. Nice new tent. Same pack as always. The Osprey Atmos 65 AG. Because I do not know how to pack lightly. All right, over here, Scotty using his dream hammock, UGQ dream hammock. Uh, I think he's got a snug back tarp. He's got his bag and everything under there. So he's the only one that is using a hammock. I brought one, don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I brought it just in case, in case I don't like the tent. Clint, also tent camping. You know, we're all hammock campers, but gonna try something different. Clint got this, just your standard Coleman Sun Dome two-man tent. You've seen the same tent set up in my backyard before. My kids use it. I've used it in the past when I actually slept in a tent. There's that. I don't know what he's got as far as sleeping pads and such. There's our shelter. My large, I think it's a 12 by 12, something like that. Camo tarp set up over this picnic table, which is a mess right now. Knock off Yeti cooler, works really well. We'll clean the table up eventually. Uh, I don't know, that looks like a pee bottle, doesn't it? I think there's tea in there, or whiskey, who knows. Uh, everything, everybody's set up over here. This is my section over here, the book I'll be reading. My boonie hat covered in pomethrin, so on and so forth. Looks like our little trash bag blew off over here. Let me go pick that up real quick. Actually, there's trash everywhere, man. These people, these people I camp with. Bunch of, bunch of slobs. Look at all the trash. <laughs> now, they're off getting the fishing license right now, so. Uh, there's the fishing poles. I don't know which one I'm gonna be using. Like I said, I know nothing about fishing. It's just not my thing, but whatever. All right, now, we bring you down here, show you this lake. We'll start off with this side. You can kind of see the, the line right here of clear versus dark. You get down here, watch where I'm going. Oop, that rock is a little loose. All right, let's get down here and see what is what. All right, over here, nice clear skies, gorgeous lake. Do a little panoramic here. And then look at that, <laughs> right there. That's where it gets real nasty. And those are the thunderstorms headed this way, hopefully. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to testing out that tent. That looks awesome. Water is becoming choppy. <laughs> ah. All right, guys, so that's it for now. When Clint and Scotty come back, I'll uh, see if they got anything they want to say. Bring you back for any severe weather, anything interesting or funny happens. As always, we'll be having some whiskey. We're just having some cheap whiskey this time. Didn't bring out anything good to review. I think we're doing 10 high. That rock moves a lot. All right, like I said, new gear. I'm not, these aren't gonna be, but if I say anything about it, it's just gonna be initial impressions. 
uh, it's not a review because I haven't had a chance to actually test it out more than once. So, all right guys, bring you back later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, ugly as ever, Scotty Coles Thu. How you doing, brother? Great, loving the rain. Yeah, it just hit a little while ago while you guys were gone. Clint is over there in his tent doing up the windows. Clint, say hi. What up? There he is. So we're back out here, the wind's picking up. It's coming in, we're probably gonna get wet because we didn't, we just pitched this for something to have over our head, not for, uh, you know, protection from the elements coming this direction. So we'll see what happens. Got a citronella candle down here because the bugs are swarming right now. And we're probably just gonna hang out under here, talk, reminisce about the old days. <laughs> all, all the days are old for Scotty. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, yeah, no, you couldn't, I, I couldn't, couldn't do it. Yeah, couldn't do it. do it, all right. Uh, so I put the pack, you saw the pack before was over there on the tree. Let me go show you where that is now. I've never used a tent with, yeah, I'm gonna get wet, who cares? I've never used a tent with vestibules before, so this is something new. So I just, on this side, since I'm gonna come in from the other side, that's where I'm gonna get in and out from, over here. Oop, that Velcro out of the way. I have my pack right here. It's got the rain cover on it already because I don't know how well this vestibule works or these zippers or anything. I wanna make sure, since I'm testing this product, ah, it's getting caught, it's hard to do with two hands. Uh, since, try to get past there, there we go. Oh, got caught again. All right, so that's not easy to do with one hand. Ah, uh, all right. Since I've never used this before, I wanna make sure that my pack does not get drenched because I have clothing and such. There's the setup again. Uh, I have clothing in there that's just in a mesh bag. I don't wanna get wet. Clint, you're gonna just stay in the tent? Nope, I'm coming out. <laughs> man. Right on. All right, I'm getting back under this tarp. Why? Not because I wanna stay dry, that's only half of it. Main reason is that sound right there. I love that sound. Under a tarp, the rain, so relaxing and majestic. <laughs> rain is coming down again. Scotty here was getting his fishing pole ready, getting ready to go down there. Don't know if that's gonna happen now. Clint, anything you wanna say? What do you think? Look, yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah, we're covered though, I'm not getting wet. I'm not well, except for your leg, probably from that splash, but. No, not that bad. Huh? Right on. Nah, man, we're good to go, dude. I'm loving this. I know. It's been a while. I'm loving it. Especially a good rain. That builds up pretty quick. We need to, uh, next time it dies down, probably, what do you think, take one of the ends and kind of yeah. point it down a little bit so it'll all go that direction? Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll do that. Right. Here we go, guys. Yeah, it's coming down too hard right now. Yeah, it's coming down really hard. <laughs> Summertime thunderstorm. Hot, humid, same type of trip we did before. This time with tents. The table's still a mess because we didn't have time really to move everything. I've already had dinner, so now I'm having some, of course, you guys know it, some whiskey and then the I don't know what this is it's some kind of strawberry peach concoction I'm backing it with Clint's just drinking straight out of the big ass 175 because he forgot his cup Scotty Sancho, Sancho, brother. there you go hold on Thank you, Sancho. Sancho.
water collection method. Whatever comes off the tarp, collect it, boil it, or filter it. Actually, we don't need to boil it. Just we got Sawyer filter, so filter it or boil it. Whatever works for you. Not gonna be boiling though. Oh. At least not in that fire pit right now. Look at that full one. Not gonna be boiling in that fire pit, but we do have cook stoves and stuff. We can do it under here, or just use the filters. Filters will be easier. I got a new mini right here. My other mini was so clogged, I couldn't get any type of a flow rate through it. Citronella candle. Get rid of the insects. Got some Cheyenne cigarettes. What's that? Is that another pack? The same thing under there? No. Ooh, oh, oh, rich man, huh? <laughs> Marvel. we have all the fishing poles that Scotty and Clint brought out as well as this tackle box. Who does that belong to, Clint or Scotty? Me. All right, there you go. He's got wet ones. He's got a whole bunch of stuff in here I know nothing wet about. Ones? Wet ones? Wet ones. Yeah, Ugh, look at that crap. Injured bait fish. Dude, I don't know anything about fishing. These guys know a little bit, little bit of something about fishing. So they're gonna Never teach me nothing. these are the poles. Isn't one of them your grandpa's? This one, right here. Which one, how old do you think that pole is? Probably 40. 40 years old? Yeah, maybe. Damn. So it's uh, when I was three, that pole came out. <laughs> I don't know I'm, why that matters. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, all right, whatever. But uh, there we go. So, however, I mean, the rain has stopped, but the water is really choppy. Oh, I like saying choppy water. But uh, <laughs> anyway, at least the rain has stopped, but the weather has cooled down drastically. Like drastically, it's very serious. It's very, very serious about how drastic the weather is. Clint's laughing at me. Uh, what do you think the temperature is right now? We don't have a signal out here and I didn't bring a thermometer. Uh, dude, High 60s? It has, yeah. Like, it's probably like 67. Yeah. It was 90 something earlier. 67 now after that thunderstorm. That's why I love coming out during thunderstorms. So Clint, there we go. Let's get Clint again, just so you can Oh, sorry, finger in front of the camera. There's Clint, just big smile, having a good time. Yeah, look at that hat. Dude, how long have you had this hat? Years. Look at the. I the brought grime. it out here for a purpose, look man. Look at the grime. Yep. Look at that. You know, that's that's, that's when you know you're serious about that shit. That's <laughs> hard work. Oh, oh, I cussed in my own video. I'm gonna have to bleep that out. Hard I'm gonna keep work. it going. Hard work, man. That's, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Hard working man. I'm. A, isn't that a song? Hard working man. That's uh, yeah. a country song. Hard working, yes. Who's, all right, here's some trivia right now from uh, both of you. Hard work, that's Brooks and, <laughs> what, is it Brooks and Dunn? Hard, yes. hard working uh, man. Hard is it Brooks and Dunn? Yes, it is. It's all Brooks right. And Dunn. I like some country. I don't like bro country. I mean, I don't care about right. that crap, but I like outlaw country. I like some of the stuff from the 90s, trying, and that was a song from the 90s. But I ain't trying to boast my shit, though. I, you know, I oh, there's another bleep I got to put in. Well, <laughs> you've been demonetized. I haven't been demonetized yet. Let's zoom in real close on Clint. No, do not. As close as we can get. Oh my God. Let's see, there it is. When you get old. Here, you know, look into my look eyes. Into his eyes. I can't see your eyes because your damn hat. Here. There it is. Hold on. Let's look get real close. Eyes. Look at that. Look at those crow's feet. Oh my God. <laughs> you too can be this beautiful through a life of drinking whiskey and working outdoors. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know, right? I, you know, we're all we're all just gorgeous. Here we go. You know, Irish Omni Nation, he's cussing at me. I'm gonna have to bleep a lot of stuff out, but 
Clint's coming up. Yeah, fuck you. He, ah, bah. Well, <laughs> F you too, man. Uh, Clint's coming up from... <laughs> he's, he's coming up, and then he's going down. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to go down, too. Clint's coming up from the uh, lake he was just fishing slash sleeping at. Sleeping. You were sleeping, yeah, pretty much. Tried to fish, and then you were just sleeping. So he'll get up here eventually. I told him, I'm like, dude, you're not, I'm not helping you. You're in an outdoor club. You got to get your ass up here yourself. Come on. He's almost there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, right, in the, right in the fucking back of the neck. Uh, all right. Pretty much there's no way I'm going to not allow cussing this video because we've done it too much. I'm not bleeping all this out. It's too much work. <laughs> you're good, man. Come on. See? Yeah. Don't try to bait me. You're like, you're all jacked up. You're fine. You just yeah. fell because you're drinking. Fishing pole? You got your tackle box up here? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Fucking tailbone. Fuck a tailbone. Fucking tailbone. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh my god. All right. Well, obviously, we're going to have to come up here and drink some more. It won't stop. <laughs> this is the problem with tent camping. The bugs, you know, you have a little light at the top of your tent. And the bugs are attracted to it. So they swarm. And there's one giant asshole bug that just keeps making a ton of noise until you turn it off. And then after that, it comes back. <laughs> ah, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning, everyone. This is the start of day two. Waking up in the tent. First night sleeping in it. Uh, eh, it's all right. It's not as good as a hammock. <laughs> Definitely not as good as a hammock. Uh, you did tossing and turning a lot. Uh, this inflatable pad that I got, the, uh, the Climate Static V completely deflated. Uh, I know the valve was shut, so I don't know. I'll well, try it again tonight, see if, uh, if it changes, but as of right now, that's a giant fail. The tent itself, I mean, I like having the space in here and everything, being able to sit up, but I don't know, it's just not as comfortable laying on the ground. Uh, let me show you around the tent a little bit, show you what kind of space I got going on in here. Alright, so it's nice and tall. There's a gear loft up here, which is nice. You can reach up and you got your stuff. You can store your stuff up in here. I have a little light hanging up top. Pretty spacious. Nice having the two doors because my pack is right out here. I can just reach out, grab my pack if I want. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's a little pocket down there. But I like that gear loft a lot. That's nice. It is spacious in here, for especially for one person. I have no problem. Six foot one, I had no problem stretching out in this. All right, I'm going to get up, get out of this tent, and uh, hopefully see the sunrise. All right, climbing out of the tent now, which is always a pain in the butt. Uh, raccoon got our trash bag last night. Scotty, you getting it? Got it? There you go. All right. And that's what I get to wake up to. So here we have the elusive lake monster known as Clint Ashley going in after his lure which he lost. We just look over and he's in his draws here just wading around. Did you find it? The snake's going to crawl up your butt. Well, <laughs> the most attention my butt's had in a while. <laughs> well, I would hope so. Oh my God, all right. <laughs> well, it looks like this morning's breakfast is going to be brought to you by... Campbell's Chunky Soup. Barbecue seasoned pork with natural smoke flavor. It's got some beans. Looks like potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, something like that. All right. Put that in that titanium pot there and grub out.
That's all you get. All right. <laughs> well, I took a step getting out of my chair over there, and I heard a ding on the ground, and lo and behold, my zipper pull on my boot has broke off. Focus. Focus. Come on. Oh, you can see. There we go. It broke off, so that goes in the trash, not on the floor. I'm just throwing it there for now. So I had to improvise with a little bit of some number 36 bank line. So now I've got my zipper back in action. Quick and easy fix, carry some bank line with you. All right, we're in the parking area. This is where all the car campers are back here, RV guys. Clint's Jeep is over there. This is my wife's car. I brought it out here for this trip. Look at that, there's the Iron Zombie Nation bumper sticker. <laughs> All right, they got these little dune buggy deals right here. We got this sucker loaded up with ice and wood and snacks we got at the marina, and we're gonna take it on down the trail there. This leads back to our campsite, not too far down. Well, my book fell apart, so I had to use some Gorilla Tape here. It's another reason I always carry Gorilla Tape to get the pages back together. It's not perfect, it's a little off. Pages are kind of hanging out, but you know, had to improvise, do what I could out here so I'm not having these fall out every time I move the book. All right, for the late afternoon... Whoa, 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 we're boiling. Hold on now. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so for the late morning hot chocolate, today's flavor is s'mores. Lando Lakes. Now look at this. The Lando Lakes Indian is still here. Look at that. They're taking her off right now because it's racist, I guess. Or, uh, you know, you can't show any pictures of anyone. <laughs> anyone of any heritage or culture anymore. So they, much like we've always done, we've uh, removed the Indian but kept the land <laughs> on this picture. So the Indian's gone, but yeah, we're keeping the land. So, so there you really? go. Like, yeah, really. There you go. You like that one? Land of Lakes. I'm a card carrying Cherokee, just so you know. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, you are, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Well, how do you feel then, being a Cherokee that they're removing the Land of Lakes Indian? Leave her on there. Yeah. I'm tired of this whole uh, cancel culture crap. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Leave her on there. It's not offensive, man. It's just an Indian holding some butter. It's freaking butter. It's butter, man. Good God. Yeah. Indians made great butter. Yeah. You no, know? you can't say Indian, man. Native American. Oh. People, indigenous what? people. Oh. Something like that, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Before we get too political with stuff, I'm just going to make some hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> He's been bobbing and weaving for a while. See a wet spot right there? That wet spot is because we put an ice cube on his pants. So it would melt. So when he wakes up, he's going to think he pissed himself. That was Scotty's idea. <laughs> it's about 1600 hours. I've got my pee bottle down here. I forgot because it's been so long since I slept in a tent that you need one of those. So last night was a problem. <laughs> Trying to uh, pee out of the deal here and not hit the vestibule. Hung up a line for some clothes. There's a sailboat right there. chair working out great love it very comfortable that headrest is very nice that's why i like the long ones this table's doing really well a lot better than i thought it would been able to cook on it do some different tasks on it all right we are going to have a fire tonight as you saw we brought firewood in earlier we're going to be using this as the fire starter we only need one each one burns about 15 minutes but i brought a total of four in we tested one out earlier like i said 15 minute burn time but i don't want to hike them out so we're going to burn all three Plus, I've got an entire bucket of these Scotty was going to just throw away. They're more for like backyard fires, but it's just a little condiment cup filled with wood shavings dipped in wax. Anything else interesting around here? Neighbors. All right, over here yesterday, there was a gaggle of girls. Is that what a group of girls is called, a gaggle? A gaggle of girls. Uh, they came over, wanted us to take a picture. Of course, we went over there and did it. But they had a whole bunch of tents. They had a toilet set up, like a toilet. One of, like, a, I don't know, it was like a, a tent toilet. <laughs> so 
So anyway, only one remained. And there's a chair over there, the trash bag's still there, but we have not seen anyone at this camp all day long. So we don't know if they rented a boat, went out on the lake or what, but hopefully they didn't just leave that tent there. If they did, we'll pack it out. So we'll check it out and see what's going on. Anything to report, gentlemen? Nope. That sailboat got real close. I can hear him. All right, everybody. They have not come back. They used to have a chair over here, okay? Now, there was like 10, 12 girls out here last night, but only a few remained after that. There was a chair, like a camping chair, sitting over here. This tent, which I think that's Ozark Trail. No, that's a Coleman, dude. Dude, I said, that's a Coleman, dude. That's <laughs> where I said it. But yeah, that's a Coleman tent, and it is brand new. Brand new. They left, that, they left this here. They left, this is the more irritating part, trash bag hanging right here. A box for an air mattress, which is in the tent. All the cardboard, just threw it on the ground next to the fire pit. Left some trash in the fire pit. And then, apparently, they all last night cooked like a blueberry cobbler. Someone made it home and just left that there. Didn't bother to throw that away. Let's look at the inside of the tent. Because it's abandoned. That's without a doubt now. This irritates the hell out of me, man. Another reason you'll never see... Nah, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'll get I'll get some backlash. Uh, all right, here we go. Look at this giant air mattress. Look how big that is, man. What is that? Like two feet, foot and a half. Very large box of graham crackers over there. A pillow, a sleeping bag, whatever that is. What is that? I don't know. Some type of. I'll take that too. I don't know. It's got some cool little. All right. Uh. Uh, some kind of spray bug spray maybe i don't know but this, everything in here is brand new and they just and they didn't know how to set up the tent correctly because the pole down there is supposed to go they didn't set this up correctly ah sorry i'm not putting anything in, in frame there but there you go there there's a pole that's supposed to hold this out like this and it's sitting down there because they didn't set it up right there's a do -rag. yeah there's a do-rag <laughs> just deflating this giant air mattress these people that don't know how to camp run out here just threw away it's so stupid they threw this away. But yeah, deflating it as best, uh, as best I can. <laughs> yeah, the zippers, I mean, yeah. It's a Coleman. I mean, that's a good tent. It's pretty large. Scotty's going to take that because he doesn't have a tent, so. Uh, well, he has one, but it's a one person. All right. We're going to take all this stuff, throw it away tomorrow. Pack it out. <laughs> this is people that don't camp. They just want to go camping one time with their friends and don't realize... You're supposed to take the stuff with you, not just throw it away. So wasteful. They but, tried to snake it down. Did they? <laughs> yeah, they've... Yeah, that didn't work. That... <laughs> it's all bent and broken. Yeah. All right. Whatever. We had thunderstorms yesterday, but we had none today. They called for thunderstorms, but we had none. So I decided it's a 50-50 chance. Basically, that means that they don't know what they're talking about. It's it's guessing. 50-50 means I don't know. So I took the rain fly off, and I'm just going to rock the mesh walls tonight. So you can see here and here. I'm almost doing a review on this. I don't want to, but just something to cool you down. Uh... Not really anything I've ever had, but I think this might work, even though you're laying like lower than that, you might get a good breeze. So we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna go with no rain fly tonight. You probably can't hear that. <laughs> right past that little section right there. These guys came by blasting 
Purple Rain by Prince. We're all, we're all cracking up right now. Current view from the tent. Took the rain fly off. No rain expected. It's like a 50-50. Yeah. Good night, nation. All right, guys, I'm going to be kind of quiet because it's the middle of the night, three in the morning. I'm packed up. I'm hiking out. We had problems. I'll tell you about it in the daylight so I don't wake anyone else up. All right, everyone, I'm in the car now, so it's quiet. Uh, I don't want to wake up Clint or anyone else around us. Uh, no epic into this camp, more of a pissed off into this camp. <laughs> Raccoons got into our bags. They were rustling stuff up. We shoot them away, but then Scotty got up and realized he forgot to clean out his pot or something so i don't know how long it took 45 minutes of him rustling around making a ton of noise i asked him i'm like are you going back to bed what what are you up now what's going on oh, i'll be done soon i'll be done soon nothing but noise finally i said screw it man it's 2 30 in the morning i'm not gonna go back to sleep now uh so i just packed up and kind of middle fingered and i'm out <laughs> no i didn't do that i was i was nice to him nice and everything but no epic in like I wanted. Instead, it's a pissed off in. Now it's 3.45 in the morning. See the clock here. 3.45, 47, whatever. And uh, I'm just going to make the drive back and may I'll have another day at home with the family, ride the bike or whatever. But yeah, Scotty should know better. <laughs> so camp etiquette, guys, if you wake up in the middle of the night and everyone else is sleeping, don't make a ton of noise and do not use a rocket stove. He had his MSR pocket rocket just <laughs> while we're trying to sleep like 10 feet away. So whatever, man. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us for this camping trip. Overall, it was a blast. I had a uh, ton of fun and uh, that's it. So like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, if I can stare at the camera, I'll see you around the fire.